I went to those hockey schools all the time uh, during the summer, and there was always some uh, national team goalie there helping all the youngsters out. And I, I was at the hockey school for uh, uh, since I was 10 years old almost. I went there at least six, seven years in a row, and uh, every summer I learned something new from the big heroes over here. And uh, I read different goaltenders' tips and all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, that was a really nice tournament for us. Uh, we were the only team that didn't get beat by the U.S. We tied them to two, or they tied us 27 seconds to go in the first game, and we were really disappointed. But it ended up to be uh, the only team that didn't get beat by them. And I had a lot of good memories from that uh, Olympics. It was a lot of fun, and uh, one of the best things was that the uh, U.S. won against uh, that they beat the Russians. The bigger rings over in Europe make the goal is to play more in the net and over there you have to play around the net you have to use your stick more and I wasn't used to that and, and uh, when they sh shoot the puck in around the net and everything everything is bouncing out in front of the net and that's completely different compared to what I'm used to from Europe at that time I was really disappointed especially the first year that I was sent down I never they never gave me a chance to to play in the National League or anything but they told me that it was just for a year or maybe a year and a half to get used to the American style of playing or North American style. And uh, they told me all the time that just do good here and learn the style and uh, you know learn to play around the net and everything and then you're going to get a good chance to play in the National League. So I believed and I worked really hard in the American League. Well, there was times when I was, you know, really disappointed and, you know, and a lot of bus rides and all this and that. And I was playing the national team in Sweden and I asked myself, what, what am I doing over here in the minor leagues here and I'm never going to get a chance. But somehow I said to myself, one day I'm going to play in that national league. And i always been like that. I'm always wanted to, to play in the National League and I said I'm going to give it three years and I'm going to try my hardest. You know, first you're the first European goal to ever make an all-star game and then you come in there and uh, Gretzky made almost a fool of myself. I mean, he scored four goals in a couple of minutes. And So I played in Canada Cup 1981 and uh, uh, I thought it was really tough to start to play hockey in July or even over here they started one training camp in June already. and. Uh, after that Canada Cup, I had a terrible uh, fall in hockey with uh, with the Flyers, and uh, you know I was really tired of hockey already in uh, October, November. Well, Bernie's been my coach, but he's also been one of my best friends since I came over to uh, America or to the Flyers. The first year in Maine, he came up, and it was not only hockey we talked about. He, he took me out for dinner, so we were sitting talking about everything, boating or fishing, or and he was like a good friend over there. He was a guy I could talk to about everything. And, or anything. I think it was the last game against Quebec in that series. I got a hit by a puck, slap shot from the blue line, right on the kneecap. And uh, it was really sore that day and the next day, but then it almost went away and put a lot of ice and stuff on it. And uh, so the first the first two games against Edmonton, it was sore, but not, not so bad as I couldn't play. But then in the third game against Edmonton, up in Edmonton, I got hit on the same spot again uh, with another puck. And then it wasn't the same after that. Okay. If you look back over your hockey career, what would you rate as your biggest thrill? Uh, no comparison. The the final or the 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 playoffs this year with the Flyers. That's the you know that's the biggest thing I ever played, and that was the funniest time I ever had in hockey too. I think unbelievable feeling for me, especially for a Swedish guy or a European goaltender to win the Vesna Trophy. That's something you just dream about. On the other hand, I like it when kids come up and they want to talk hockey and they maybe want to have an autograph because I remember not too long ago I was the same way. I, I like to talk to the national team goaltenders and and it was they were great when they wanted to sign one of my gloves or one of my sticks or something like that. So I remember that uh, like it was yesterday. So it's it's a lot of fun when all the kids come up and they, they want to talk about national league or whatever. So I don't mind really. What are you shooting for now? What's your next major goal? To win the Stanley Cup. That's the that's the big thing. That's where the whole team, the organization is working for to win the cup. Something between stand up and reflex. Small little guy. <laughs> if they ever remember me 20 years from now. Yeah. It's probably going to be some new Swedish uh, super goal over in North America winning the Vesna Trophy at that time, so they don't even remember me, but maybe some uh, some old players remember me that I was the first European goal to win the Vesna or something like that. I don't know. I don't think anybody will remember me 20 years from now. <laughs>